Hi everyone. It's Amir Hossein Bhagirpur Shireza. In this video we are going to find out stress intensity factors for a center crack on a 2D plate using a Bakuz. This is the geometry and material properties for this problem as you see. We fixed the part from the bottom and also a tension force of 100 MPa being applied on top. The crack is placed on center with an angle of 45 degrees. So we start modeling this problem in a Bakuz. First, we should create a part. So we click on the specific button, then select 2D, deformable and shell. Next step is modeling the geometry in the software. You can use different ways to do so. But here we chose to create using given points. As we want to have some kind of symmetric part to have a simpler sketch for crack and also partitioning we give 200 mm as X, and 300 mm as Y. After that we start to sketch the crack and also partitioning the part. So click on partition face. In order to have a better sketch, we set a mirror line with an angle of minus 45 degrees and put it in the middle. Set points of 20 mm for both X and Y. Then click to mirror. For the type of mirroring, choose copy, pick the mirror line that we set before and then select the line you want to mirror. There we go. Then we need to define one or two contours for the tips of the crack to have a better analysis, so we head to partition face again and start creating circles and mirroring them like we did before. So we are done with all we need for the crack. For a better meshing, it's good to separate crack from other sections. So again hit on partition face and do as you see in the video. So that's all we need to do in part module. Head into next module to give the material properties of the problem by clicking on property, and assigning material property. Click on mechanical tab, elasticity, and then elastic. Then insert the young modulus of steel which is 200 GPA and the Poisson's ratio of 0.3. You can also insert its mass density if interested but that's not necessary. Hit OK. Tap on Create Section, select the category on Solids and Type of Homogeneous. Hit Continue and press OK. Then assign the section by clicking on its icon. Select your geometry and hit OK. And we are done in this section. Then go to Assembly, click on Create Assembly and select Independent and hit OK. In Step Module, Create and Step, choose Static General. Click Continue and press OK. In the Interaction Module, we have to define the crack that we have on the geometry. Go to Special on the top, Crack and then Assign Seam. Select your crack and hit Done. Again from the special tab, go to crack but this time we need to create the crack from the crack manager or can directly choose create, then put it on contour integral and click on continue. Now you should select the crack region. As we have crack which is placed in center, 
so we would have two crack tips, and because of that we should create two different crack regions. So select the first contour region, hit done. Select the crack tip and hit done and then specify the crack extension direction using Q vectors, in order to do that you have to select start and end point, after that a new window will pop up. Go to singularity tab and change the mid side node parameter value to 1 fourth to get a more accurate answer, and also put it on collapsed element side. Then we should do the same for the bottom crack region. Now we are done with the crack. Go back to step module and create history output to select what we want to get from the software at the end. As we have one created, tap at it, change the domain to crack, select crack one, insert five contours or whatever you like that's just up to you, then change the type to stress intensity factors using MTS criterion and hit OK, create another output for the same crack, but this time choose T stress as the type. We need to do the same for the second crack region. Then we have all our outputs created for both sides of the crack. In the load module, we should set our boundary condition and loading conditions. To do so click on boundary condition manager, create, change it to displacement slash rotation, and select the bottom of the plate. Click on done and check all U1, U2 and UR3 to fix it from bottom. And to create the load. Go to load manager and click on create, choose pressure and select the top side. And insert 100 MPA for the magnitude. Notice that you have to put a minus before that to apply a tension force, otherwise you would have a compression applied. We are all good to start meshing. Select seed part and change approximate global size to for example 5. Then we need to have some kind of smaller element size near to the crack tips to get a good answer. So select seed edges and change the selected edges elements size to 2. And for the crack contours change it to 0.5 for example. You can change these values if you didn't get a good answer later. And also notice that you just need a single node at the crack tips, so change the number of elements to one for both regions.
then we should select the element type. For the crack tip region it is common to use triangular elements, so click assign mesh controls, and select both of the inner contours and change the element type to try and hit OK. And for the rest of it it is good to have quad elements and change the algorithm to medial axis and hit OK. Then start to mesh using mesh part button. So this is what we got after meshing. In order to fix this kind of disordered mesh, change the element type of the outer contours and the center square to quad dominated. Now let's see how would it be after this change. In order to have some kind of smoother mesh you can just change the element size or element numbers to get a better results and if we do so. we would have something like this. That's better now. We have nothing to do in optimization module so we head into job to create a job using job manager. Click on submit and let the software do the calculations. When the status changed to completed, you can monitor the results and click on data file. Scroll down until you see the K factors and T stress values for both of the cracks that you've selected before. And as you see we got almost same answer for those 5 contours that we wanted. And it is obvious that the values of K1 and K2 are almost the same and that's because of the angle of the crack with the center line. And if interested to see the deformed shape of the plate and some more data, click on results. Click on plot contours on deformed shape and there we go. You can see different contours of the plate after the applied loading. Thanks for watching. You can contact me via the email address in the description if something isn't clear to you.